Well, hello and welcome to part six in my series on average speed. Okay, now this exercise has been suggested to me by one of my IGCSC uh, students, and I think it's a high tier um, question, so it should be okay for GCSE and for 10th grade algebra. Now, I'm going to suggest two methods. The first method is certainly should be okay for everybody, including the G, anybody doing GED math. Okay, now here's the question. Now, on Monday, Nadia made a, a journey. And on Tuesday, she did the same trip, except, except that on Tuesday, her average speed has increased by 25% compared to her speed on Monday. Okay, and it says, calculate the percentage reduction in the time of her journey on Tuesday compared to Monday. Now, as I said earlier, there'll be two methods here. One is what I call doing it, doing it intuitively, and the other one is doing it by algebra. Okay. Now, I'm going to see uh, distance is speed times time, which is very, you know, near enough to say uh, area is equal to uh, length times width. Yeah, and that's what I'm going to use here because the uh, area in the speed time plot is the distance. So the area on that underneath the speed time plot is the distance there. Okay, so now what I've got is a little grid, and I've got um, this big, which is my speed. I've got four units there for speed, and I've got five units for my time, and that's for one day, and the time there. So the the area for one day, the distance for one day, is going to be uh, four times five, four speed and five time units. That'll give me twenty distance units there. Now on Tuesday, uh, similar thing, except that for Tuesday, instead of having four there, I've got five there because my speed has increased from by 25%. So that's going to be uh, five speed units instead of four. So that's going from four to five. It doesn't matter what you use here. It can use three as long as it increased Tuesday by uh, 25%. Okay, so I've used four here because it's convenient to use four and then fire there. Right, we need to find the time because the, the area is going to be the same. We need to find the time. So if we say that this time is Y there, and the distance is going to be the same as for this one here. So the distance on Tuesday is five times Y time units, and 20 is equal to uh, five Y. So Y is four time units there. So there's a reduction of one time unit on Tuesday compared to Monday. Okay. And okay, so, so the, the percentage reduction in time compared to Monday is one over five. One over five times a hundred. And that gives us twenty percent there. Now I hope that makes some sense. Next slide. Okay, now this is the same question as we had on, on slide one. Okay, now if we say the distance on Monday is uh, the speed on Monday times the time on Monday, and that's the same as the speed on Tuesday times the time on Tuesday. Okay, now because the speed on Tuesday is, has gone about 25%, so if we can say that the speed on Tuesday is 1.25, the speed on Monday. So we can now replace this by 1.25 S sub M. We replace S sub T by 1.25 S sub M in the next line. And that's what we got there. So instead of having uh, S sub T, I got 1.25 S sub M there. If we then divide both sides by 1.25 S sub M, and then divide both sides also by T sub M, we end up with this here, because we're going to divide that by that. And uh, that's what we got. So I'm putting the, the number one there to help me out there. Because when, when uh, the S sub M's disappear, we have that 1 over 1.25 is equal to T sub T over T sub M. Okay, which then means that um, T sub T is equal to 0 0.8 of T sub M because when that goes across there, 1 over 1.25 is 0. Point, sorry, 0 0.8. So T sub T is equal to 0 0.8 T sub M. 
that's 80 percent so that in, in effect we now have a 20 percent reduction between the speed on tuesday and the, sorry between the time on tuesday and the time on monday okay so we can do it this way 1 minus 1 over 1.25 i'll give you 0 0.20 multiply by 100 you get 20 percent so you can stop there if you want to or you can do a bit more if you wish you don't have to do it you don't have to do both okay so we want to find the percentage reduction straight away and we can say that this time on monday uh minus the time on tuesday is a reduction in time okay so now that's what you got there now i want we want to create this as a single fraction there because that one is t sub t there okay as we got there t sub t uh, t sub t is t sub m over 1.25 okay now to create as a single fraction we have this there okay uh, 1.25 t sub m minus t sub m over 1.25 now if you divide the single fraction by the time of Monday that will give you the proportion of that compared to Monday yeah to give you the proportion of the time, time reduction compared to Monday so that actually is same as saying uh, 1.25 t sub m minus t sub m over 1.25 t sub m that comes down there as it got there if we don't factorize the numerator we end up with uh, t sub m into 1.25 minus 1 over 1.25 t sub m the t sub m's will cancel out so and that will give you 0.25 there so we end up with 0.25 times 100 over 1.25, and that should give you 20%. Now, I hope all that made some sense. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please, please subscribe. Bye-bye now.